In this session, we're going to speak about Anilux cleaning and more precisely about how to choose between liquid cleaning of Aniluxes and laser cleaning of Aniluxes. So, Patrick and Ryan, how should a customer choose between these two ways of cleaning? You know, Meta, it's a great conversation for us to engage in because we have options. So the best thing is that when you start talking to the customer, it's to establish that no matter which option they choose, it's going to get them back to full cell volume, which is really the best goal. Daily cleaning, regular cleaning, cleaning the rolls or cylinders every time they come out of the press is the best option. So then we can have a free conversation about which option is best for their operation. How many changeovers are they doing a day? Do they have a large inventory of extra analogs? Uh, how many cylinders are they cleaning or rolls are they cleaning in a day? And so you can engage in that conversation about their operation. You also have to take into account environmental concerns or any corporate restrictions, uh, which may affect the decision for which one is the better for their operation. So Ryan, what about laser cleaning? What's the advantages of laser cleaning? Uh, well, the advantages of laser cleaning are, are simple. There's uh, no consumables, so you don't have any ongoing costs. And also there's no waste stream. So as Pat said before, the environmental concerns, whether it's a local regulation or, or a corporate regulation, that is, uh, that is going to be eliminated because you're not going to have a waste stream with, uh, with the laser cleaner. What about liquid cleaning, Patrick? What are the advantages there? Well, liquid cleaning offers a great deal of flexibility in the way that the machine works. Um, you can put a, a roll in there, two rolls, three rolls, multiple rolls at the same time so you can receive a faster cleaning result. Uh, and the operation takes less time. So it's a, it's a very known technology that's been around for a long time, but it's still so effective in many operations. And what about the talks about liquid cleaning only being for uh, daily cleaning and laser cleaning being for deep cleaning? Well, it's just not true. You know, as, as we all know here, the, the liquid cleaner has, uh, has proven technology. It's been around for 30 plus years um, and it will get you back to your original cell volume every single time that you run the machine. It can, typically can do that in about 15 minutes or less. Laser cleaning is obviously a deep cleaning option as well. So really, if you want to get your analogs cleaned every time you put them into a flexo wash, either, either option is, what's, is the best one for you. And the laser cleaner has a number of safety features that are built into it. I think there's some concerns over using a laser with something as gentle and expensive as an analogs. But there's all these safe, there's a lot of safety features that are built into the machine. Uh, with sensors and control with the autofocus. If, if the operator were to accidentally put the wrong size roll into the machine, this, the machine is going to know that and it's going to stop and alert the operator. So there's really very little chance of mechanical failure or damage to the analogs in that fashion. Yeah, yeah. So what you say is, say is that both options, both way of cleaning are safe for the analogs. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Very and, much so. and both technologies are built for regular cleaning of the rolls every time they come out of the press. Mm -hmm. That is the best practice. Yeah. And what you say is then also that it's up to the customer which one to choose or? Absolutely. Yeah. What's the right. best case for their operation? Mm -hmm. And yes. for some, it may be both. 